How's it going guys? Nate Winicky here with BD Outdoors and today we're going to be talking about surface bluefin technique and some ways that you can capitalize the next time you find yourself pulling into that big spot of foaming fish. So the first thing about this kind of fishing is that it's largely run and gun cast and wine style stuff. So you're going to want a jig stick similar to what you're using for yellowtail but just keep in mind that you're not fishing for yellowtail, you're fishing for bluefin that sometimes can be bigger than 200 pounds. So you're going to want an outfit that's a little bit more beefed up than what you're typically used to using. Personally here, I really like the Calstar GG90J. This is a graphite version of the classic 90J design that a lot of guys use for yellowtail, and it has a little bit more backbone. So when that fish goes deep, you can use your rod as leverage to help you bring that fish up to color. Back here, I use a Saltiga 40 Star Drag. This is a beast of a reel. All aluminum frame, it's got excellent drag, but still has a wicked free spool, so you're able to get that jig out to the zone. Now on here, there are, I like to use a mono top shot of 50 pound eyes or first string. It gets me a little bit more stretch and forgiveness when that fish is at deep color. However, some guys like to use the straight braid and most of this surface iron fishing is gonna be very subjective to personal preference. So what I'd recommend is that you try one thing, but if your buddy's doing really well, ask to use his setup and just to see if maybe what, his, what he does works a little bit better for you. So let's move to some lures now. When I'm pulling up into some foam, one of the first things that I look into using is some sort of popper. I brought my three favorites here. This is the Rapala Magnum Explode. We've got the Clear Choice Ghost 150, very, very effective. And then also the Bull Pop from Yozuri. Why I like to use the poppers first is because they put that bait into the zone and you can keep it there for much longer than you can, say, a surface iron or a stick bait. What this is imitating is a dead or dying bait fish that's been pushed up to the top in all the turmoil. And what you'll find is that it's actually on the paws that you get bit more than on that big pop. And when you're fishing these lures on a jig stick, say nine or 10 feet, you'll find that it's difficult to swipe your rod to the side to move that lure. So sometimes what I do is I keep my rod tip high and I burn two or three times with my reel to move that lure through the water. And it creates a much, a very similar action than the swiping motion. And it's much easier to do on these longer jig sticks. So say that the fish are really keyed in on sardine or smaller mackerel or some of that bait fish, a surface iron or a stick bait can be absolutely deadly. What you're gonna be doing is you're gonna cast this right into the thick of the foam, give it a one or two second count and start burning it back. One of my, some of my favorite lures that I like using, it's gonna be the Salas 7X, the Taddy Starman and the Taddy 14A. These lures, so there's a bunch of surface irons out there in a multitude of different colors. But these three particular models do really well under fast conditions when they're being wound in with some speed. And whether you like it or not, their adrenaline's gonna be running when you're thrown into some foam and you're gonna be moving these lures fast. So having a lure you can depend on staying under without popping out is an excellent bait. Okay, now sometimes we've all experienced this. You pull up on a school of fish and you see the bait jumping out of the water and it's like the size of your finger. It's super tiny. And this used to be a big frustration of fishermen, but in the past couple years, the companies have come out with some excellent presentations that you can still cast and get a very small profile out there. So the three that I really like are the Daiwa Zakana here, the formerly called the Colt Sniper, now it's called the Current Sniper by Shimano, and the Nomad Ridgeback. All three of these are little lead baits. They cast really well. You can try to use this on a surface iron setup like this, but you may have to size down just a little bit. Use 40, maybe even 30 pound test. But the biggest thing is you wanna get this right into the meat of the fish and let it sink. Most of the time you're gonna get bit right as that bait hits the water. So we'll get it a two or three count sink, put it in gear and start burning back. If you're not bit by then, you should do another cast. So. With all this in mind, guys, get out there. There's a lot of experimentation. This is only brushing the surface of what you can do in terms of foam or fishing for bluefin. The biggest thing is gonna be experience, time on the water, making sure that first cast counts, and uh, you're bound to connect one of these days. Thanks so much, I'll see you guys in the next one.